welcome to the Miscellaneous Animals edition of the Frisian Experience Christmas Countdown. Wow! And here we have the albino Houdini, whose actual name is Principal. And this morning he's escaped from his field and appeared up at the barn. So we're not quite sure how he got out, where he came from, or how long he's been out. He could have had a night out around town for all we know. But he's just tucking into some carrots this morning. As I think that's probably what he came down for. So this little man, he was, and he is my own and childhood pony. So he's 27 now. And he's very happily retired. He lives out on his own, um, uh, up, in, up in the top fields. Up there, so he's got range of those. And he has been with the Frisians over the years, but he's always just been a bit of a loner. But we have talked about potentially integrating him into the boys' herd. And I think he's reached a stage in his life where he'd like a little bit more attention, uh, because throughout his whole life he's never been that bothered about people or other horses. But I think now, now is probably the first year he's been wanting a bit more. So it's up to me and Freya to start giving you more time, isn't it, little man? Yes. But this morning you can enjoy you can enjoy your carrots. Have a little wander around but he he is he's he's such a cool little pony he is definitely one in a million pony he taught me and Freya so so much and for that we are so so grateful to him and here he is now just enjoying his breakfast and the reason why we refer to him as the albino is because he is the only white animal on the farm so here we have miscellaneous animals one and two has disappeared over there somewhere, but this is Jimothy. Oh, there she is. There's Nell. So She's back. She is. So these are Jodie's collies. Who, who? Jim was your first one. Yeah. So he, um, I got him in 2017. Um. So yeah, he's been coming here basically forever. <laughs> yeah, he's. I he... mean, when he was tiny, he didn't come here because I was doing more as a hack, so he stayed at home. But now he's with me here every day with Nell. Um. He's more of the one who just observes. He's the observer. I don't know what Nell's doing. She's doing something over there. Yeah. Oh, he... she's got another stick. Yeah. Oh, cool. Fun times. Jim likes to observe the horses, herd the horses, watch me, watch everybody, don't you? And you do play play with people as well. But he's more of just the sit and observe, whereas Nell is the um, running around with a stick, digging up the bed. <laughs> Nell's the one that people. causes mass destruction. Yeah. And Jim's the one that looks ashamed for her. It's like yeah, he's in his in his little face, he always looks slightly concerned. Yeah. Like it's like now he's looking at you like, Mummy, what's she doing? Yeah, but he's that's... always there. He's always following and observing, whereas Nell's just in her own little world. Yeah. A lot of the time Nell, in order to be heard by Nell, you can't like Jim would respond to Jim. Whereas now it's like, Nell! Yeah, it's yeah. you literally only have to look at Jim in a certain way. It's like, oh, hi, I'm here. Whereas Nell's just like, Whatever, yeah, don't care. And also, Nell has the highest fame threshold ever. Like, I think, I think you could throw her off a cliff. Not that we do that. <laughs> um, and she'd just like bounce up and run around like normal. Yeah, Whereas yeah. Jim, he could accidentally have his paw stood on by another oh. dog, and he'd just go. Oh! And he'd be sad for the rest of the day. He would. He'd, he'd be absolutely so traumatized. He's absolutely, because there's times where he's underneath my feet and I'm trying to do the bed so he's watching me now and then I'll absolutely step on his toe and it's light so it's literally the worst thing that's ever happened. I know, sometimes I feel really guilty because I think it was one time I accidentally stood on his tail. Um, Sorry, he gets over it. Yeah, but and then... Yeah, he's a, he's a way more sensitive person. He is. It's like sometimes when I look out as well, Nell's there and the amount of times I nearly hit her in the face because she's following me around with yeah. the shavings fork. And then, and then after you finish, she likes to dig up the corners of the bed. Yeah. And then Jim just kind of sits outside. Yeah, looking. he sits outside or just like gets in the bed really quietly and just sits and watches. Yeah. While, while Nell's just going round and round and round. But they do occasionally play together, which is nice. It's brought him out of himself since she arrived. <laughs> yes. Since she arrived, it's she not, appeared. It's not um, been quite the same. I don't really know where she came from. Um, she. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know what that was. She just um, appeared into our lives, like she was just there. Yeah. It seems like with both of them, it was a case of obviously with Jim, I was looking for like my first dog, and he was just there, and he was just like, "I'm here." And they always say that, don't they? It's stereotypical. Like you get your first dog, and you think, "Oh, this dog's so easy going," and that'll mean I can get another dog, and then I get another dog, and then it's just absolutely crazy. But she's great. I love her so much. I yeah. love them both, and they both have 
a place here and they, they do. seem to have their own little fan club. Yeah, definitely. The Jim and Nell fan base. It wouldn't be the same without them. It's like if you ever turn up to work without your entourage, it's like, where are they? Yeah, I feel completely naked. I'm yeah. Like, and I'm sure there's times where I look around and I think they're there because they're usually just right behind me, following me everywhere. It just isn't right. No. No, it's like yeah. we always know when you've arrived, not because we see you, but yeah. because these two come running into the van and it's like, oh, cool, Jodie's here. Sounds and then, cool. yeah, announcing your, your presence. Yeah. Because you couldn't possibly, you know, walk up unannounced. Well, no. The dogs have to do that for you. Yeah, and their favourite yeah. activity is pulling the Hayley off the bale, but also scattering the uh, shavings out of the bales yeah. as well. Yeah, they're, they're very helpful. They are, especially especially now she likes to clean the floor with her own fur yeah and leave sticks everywhere for the others to trip over oh yeah just little obstacles yeah so if but anyone you know she's been around when there's like various balls sticks very even carrots and now that we're feeding carrots she will likely find a carrot and start throwing that around in the air as well yeah and apples yeah oh yeah, yeah the apples in the summer that's her favorite activity that she gets one and then it rolls down the hill and then she has to go and find it and then bring it back and it rolls back down yeah Jim, Jim ordinarily doesn't partake in these crazy activities. No, he usually needs human assistance for playing with toys. Like he, There's various people that come here that he just goes straight to and is like, play with me, whereas Nell can just play with herself. Yeah. Oh, and she likes to crotch. Oh, stuff. yes, Nell does that. She likes to, to sniff her nose up your crotch yeah. and sniff. It's, it's the most bizarre, bizarre thing, especially if you're wearing a skirt. It's... Yeah, she likes to upskirt people. She does. She does. She's had to have numerous talks with HR about her inappropriate and actions. And Jim's also very ashamed of her. Yeah, look it's at... Just, it's so inappropriate. I know, it's just his face how he's just looking at her so, like... like well, Usually when he's watching the horses as well, he'll do that thing where he can't possibly go to sleep, but he will sit there with his eyes closed, and then any movement is like, I'm awake. Yeah. So he starts to close his eyes again. Yeah, because he can't possibly not be observing. No. No, if Jim was a person, he'd be... I don't know what he'd be. I don't know. He'd just be... He'd be one of those dads that, like... I don't know, just... Yeah, constantly, like, checking that everything. Oh, my God, safe. do you know who he'd be? You know, at the in-between is Neil's dad. Oh, my God, yes. <laughs> oh, Neil. Oh, Nell. Oh, Nell. <laughs> Yeah, Nell would be one of the... Nell would be probably Jay out of the in-betweeners. Oh, my God, yeah. You know, like... Just shouting stuff out the window. Yeah. Abuse, and then Jim's just like, oh, my God, stop. Yeah, <laughs> that is... It's to be like that. That is the pair of them. Is so they're just great. I couldn't do without them. They're just... Yeah. yeah. And they love the horses. The horses are fine with them. They, you know, they yeah. don't bother them, so... No. Because I think some people are always a bit... Obviously, when they have horses, they're always like, oh, my God, dogs, like, if... They're not used to them, but because the horses here are so used to everything, it mm. doesn't bother them even if they're running underneath them. No, which they don't generally. I mean, Nell can sometimes do that, especially if Chris is here. She'll be there trying to eat the food like underneath the horse. But yeah, Nell has had a few near-death um, squashes. She has no like no. spatial awareness. She has no fear of death. No, it's just actually there was an incident when she first came here. We were doing the photo shoot down the road. Yeah. And I had Jim and Nell on the quad and she was only tiny and I had her like on the front and then she like slowly slid off the side <laughs> and then I slightly run over her leg. But like she didn't care. There was just this <laughs> <laughs> Were you traumatised though? Oh yeah, she slightly and Jim was a bit concerned, but it was fine. <laughs> but even though Jim has told her off a few times and there's been a few incidents, but yeah. I think sometimes it was called for. Oh yeah. And she knows her boundaries now. Well, sometimes. When she remembers, she doesn't remember a lot of things. She just keeps repeating the same thing. But yeah. She now means she's well. Try and get Carl out of there for them. Well, she's that's... definitely got a very busy brain. Yeah. She's just like 100 miles an hour all the time. Always. And Jim's just a sophisticated gentleman. He is. He'd be one of those men that wears like, uh, you know, the flat caps. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he would. Smoke cigars. He'd always look really smart and yeah. like. Drive a Range Rover. Yeah. He would. But he'd be just such a kind person. Mm. Like, like one, one of those people that would never say anything bad about anybody. No. But occasionally gets really angry. Like a sweet old man with a. Uh... Yeah. I don't know. But he does get quite angry sometimes. Like if something isn't right, he gets upset. <laughs> Yeah, he's a bit autistic. So, yeah. Just to... He doesn't like change. No. He doesn't like it when mummy leaves him. He gets bad at mummy. He doesn't ever do anything. Bad mummy. He looks at me like, hmm. Yeah. Whereas Nell's like, bye, 
see you later. Yeah, I'll just get Jim's... in the stranger's car and get taken away somewhere. I won't care. And then she'll, she'll probably care after a few hours once she's realised what's mm. happened. But in the moment, she's like, oh, cool. Fun. Yeah, Jim's more of a mummy's boy. Yeah. Whereas Nell is an she's anybody just... who's good fun. Yeah, literally. <laughs> Anyone like... that for a good time. Yes. But then she didn't realise her mistakes and then returns. Yeah. To her. I can't we call them siblings? I don't really know. No, they can't be siblings because they they might have to reproduce one day and then that's yeah, a bit Yeah, they're not related. They're not related, so we're not doing any inbreeding. Here. No, no. Even though we're all inbred. We're not, Obviously, we're yeah. We're not inbreeding the dog. That's just fun. That is. And so. here on the Miscellaneous Animals Edition, we do, of course, have the most animalistic animal of them all, Bailey. He's likely to shoot you. Yeah, he is. So Bailey is Tracy's son. And he doesn't really have a specific job. Oh, yes, you do have a job role. I do apologise. You make brownies for the open days. Yeah. So anyone who's ever got food poisoning, it is, of course, Bailey's fault. <laughs> I am very scared at the moment. Oh! <laughs> that was vile. Yeah, so this is ba Bailey. Would you like to talk about yourself for the people watching this? Um, hello. My name is Bailey. Well done. Uh, I'm, I'm the fourth lover's offspring, somehow. I don't know how she created me. It's very odd. We don't want to go into yeah, the Yeah, genetics, <laughs> that's weird. Yeah. Um, uh, what? <coughs> no, what else do you, what do you do with your free time? Uh, talk with friends. Didn't know you had me. Hoi! Said you, didn't know you didn't, know you didn't have a bride of my son. Okay, cool. Thank, thank you for that insult. I am Bailey. so offended. I'm going to cry. Yeah, Bailey, remember to talk slowly so that people can understand yeah. what you're saying. So, how old are you, Bailey? I'm 12 years old. And didn't you win a talent show at school this year? No. No, I came second. Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot. There's I nothing you... wrong with coming second. Second is not. No, it's not acceptable in my standards. Did anyone hear that? Second is not acceptable by my standards. Here are the cats, Twix and Dee, who it's very rare making appearances. They're not very peeply cats, but they have a little bedroom around the back of the barn where they live, and I feed them when I can remember. Other than that, they kill the mice and they keep our barn mice free. But they're both very, very sweet cats. They're just, they're just not very well socialised with humans, so they are often out and about doing cat things you know the things that cats do so we're not quite sure what way they do really or where they go but they just appear when they're hungry and go meow 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 just like that and jim once had a minor traumatic experience with them when i think he wanted to go and say hello to the cat but the cat didn't like him and the cat went <laughs> which jim was not very happy about and is still traumatized about till this day Here's the sheep. From left to right, we have Damson, one of the Astra Ozenica twins, Connie, the other Astra Ozenica twin, and last but not least, Pfizer, the only boy. And that's it. You have now officially met every creature on the farm, both two-legged and four-legged, apart from our host of spiders, wood lice and robins, which we will introduce you to in next year's advent. Um, but for tomorrow, the advent's going to be out a bit later than normal because ordinarily I film them either the day before or a few days before and edit them so they're ready to go for the next day. But for Christmas Eve, I have not videoed anything yet and I will be unable to video it tomorrow because I'm not in tomorrow because I'm going uh, to meet my auntie for Christmas. So give me sophisticated little lunch because I'm, I'm sophisticated, yeah. Very sophisticated. So I will be filming it on the morning of Christmas Eve and then banging it up here later that day. But everybody, enjoy your Christmas Eve, enjoy your December the 23rd and have an amazing Christmas wherever you are in the world!